Hi, I'm Erin Pankratz, and this is Mosaic Arts Online. In this online course, I will teach you in-depth techniques for mixing tinted mortars using both the liquid and the powder tints so that you too can create colorful tinted mortar substrates. I will teach you how to properly mix mortar to make vibrant, beautiful colors using the powder tints. I'll also share the beneficial properties of the liquid tints and talk about the differences between the two and how to use them together. Once you have all that information, I will teach you how to create my unique and colorful substrates and how to make a textured underpainting on the substrate. This will help to expand on the different ways you can incorporate these mortars into your overall design. And by playing with them, you can explore the multitude of ways you can create your own decorative backgrounds. The great thing about learning these mixing techniques is that they can be used in other ways. If you have these skills in your tool belt, then you can find ways to incorporate them into your own practice. In the next section, there's a PDF with all the tools, materials, and resources that you will need to complete this online course. So let's get started. Erin, thank you so much for coming to Mosaic Arts Online. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, I'm such a big fan of your work and this is such an incredible online course that you are sharing with all of us. So, But before we get started on what the course is really involved with, give me just a quick background, your elevator pitch of how you got started in Mosaics. Well, I uh, went to art school when I was in my 20s and then I um, had a child and stopped going to art school and um, I got itchy, itchy to make things and I was also a gardener so I did the, the, um, the gateway uh, the gateway first project, which was a stepping stone. And, but I'd had some um, exposure to mosaic prior to that in my art, uh, high school art days. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I got into it and I found that there was a fine art side to mosaic and yeah. that was it, I was hooked. Oh, that's awesome. So with your fine art, which is what you create, can you elaborate on how this technique has really become your signature? Because when you see pieces like this, this is an Aaron Pankratz. And how did that happen? Well, um, I went to an arts high school, mm -hmm. and then I went to art school, and I was also a dancer. So I, I was immersed in um, art practice, and I took printmaking and life drawing and fabric dyeing. My mother uh, is a weaver and a fiber artist, so I was exposed to all of that. And I was also in the sculpture department. So I've had all of these multitude of, of techniques uh, that I've tried and been exposed to, and they all have kind of culminated into what I do now. That's awesome, and it just shows you that really with some art elements that you can create your own style and have something to show the world. So now with this online course, you're going to teach this of how to do your very um, unique and colorful substrates. And then if people want to expand on this different stuff, we are showing you this one as well, which is actually another video. So explain kind of why we did this in two separate ones and how you teach when it is live. There's sort of that division between the two. Yes, I teach often a two-day course and it is split up, but there's so much information, uh, technical things that you need to know about the tints and mixing the mortars um, and then using them that there was enough really enough yeah. for two courses um, right. there's so much information um, and all the different ways that you can use them and maybe someone just wants to learn how to make colorful substrates and has their own ideas where they want to go with that and then there can be someone that wants to learn about your dots and sticks and different techniques of that so that they can and maybe you can expand a little bit more on how this is your technique obviously your signature and you want to share this with people but you want them to know that they should really expand on their own and what are sort of the clues on how people can do that? Well, it's really about learning what these materials can do mm -hmm. and knowing what you have learned and done and thinking about 
uh, different ways that you can uh, use these and, 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 and play with them and experiment and make mistakes, make mistakes that um, lead to new things uh, for these, these yeah. actual materials. Yeah. It doesn't have to be exactly what I do with them. I'm showing you how I use them so that you can go take them and make them your own, hopefully. Yeah, no, I think that's great. And I'm so excited to have this very colorful, very fun, very accessible, all these materials are very accessible on the PDF, but this is just a breakthrough in a new way to create mosaics and to create substrates that people can go in lots of different directions. So thank you so much for coming and sharing thank your you. amazing techniques and knowledge and thank mosaics. You. It was about us. time. This yeah. had to happen. <laughs>